summer means a lot of events are happening, and that means a community spotlight. Christy Schaefer this time we've invited from the Monticello Freedom Fest. And it's a big event that they have at Lodge Park, and this year she's saying it's going to be about the same. But we want to start with this. There's some details that are some changes. But let's start with this too, Christy. We're glad you're with us. You were just sharing with me something kind of difficult just happened in your life, but also positive. You're taking something sad and turning it into something positive. So walk us through what you're reflecting on lately. Um, so last year we found out that my mother had cancer and um, she was doing treatments. We thought things were going great. Uh, she was getting better and come to find out that wasn't the case. Um, so we actually lost her in January. And she has been organizing, helping organize um, since 2009 for the fireworks. So. Um, she is a, a checklist kind of person, which was great for us because we have been able to pick up where she left off. Um, we call it Debbie's Bible of Fireworks. Okay, okay. Um, so we picked up Debbie's Bible and went through and found the the stakeholders. Um, Gavin Doremus and I, she's a White Heath resident, decided we were going to carry on the tradition and make sure that we made her proud. So Absolutely. trying to keep most everything the same, but moving forward, just want to again keep it going and keep that tradition alive. Well, you're definitely in our thoughts and prayers for sure here at Channel Three and. and Christy, let's talk about this too. I know you mentioned some changes, so we're not going to have it on the 4th this year, right? It's going to be on the 3rd? Right. It's it's always on the 3rd. Okay. It's um, 5 p.m. in the evening, and okay. we have vendors, food vendors, um, rides, games, different kinds of things to do. Um, just try to make it as fun as possible. Family-friendly event. Family-friendly. got fireworks you just mentioned. And you said community help could be, of course, an assistance to you as well. Yes, we're always looking for help. Um, there's a lot of things that go into it. Uh, it's donation only, so there's a lot of walking the streets and making sure that we get the things we need. We do raffles to try to get money, and there's donations at the park. So a lot of behind-the-scenes things go on to make sure we get there. Absolutely, Christy. And to support you, I know you said you have a page as well. Can you share that with us? We do. We have a Facebook page. So it's the Monticello Freedom Fest. Um, there's updates, information, everything on there. Um, one of the big things this year that we'll note is there's always issues with parking. So <laughs> we're working really hard on... That's a good problem. Yeah, it is. It's <laughs> great to have that many people show up and, and be able to enjoy it. But uh, there is limited parking at the park. So we are running buses from the high school and the middle school um, to get people out to the fireworks and return them back to their vehicles afterwards. So we're really trying to promote that as part of our parking plan to make sure we have that available. And don't park on the interstate, correct? And don't park on the Okay. <laughs> I just know that we want to know that. <laughs> yes, okay. for sure. <laughs> well, thank you again for all that you're doing, Christy. And, and your mother is in our memory as well, Christy. Thank you. I really that appreciate that. Absolutely. <laughs> and so, of course, visit our website at your earliest to, of course, see this interview and much more at wcia.com slash community.